children and a woman have been confirmed killed in a reprisal on some headers settlements in the Kaura and Liri local government area of Kaduna State. The State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruan, disclosed this in a statement on Saturday. Aruan said Governor Nasai Rufai was worried by the renewed killings. The attack came barely 24 hours after seven persons were killed in an attack on Goragan village of the Zagon Kataf local government area of the state on Thursday night. The commissioner identified those killed in the reprisal attacks as Mustafa Haruna, one year old, Yukada, one year old, Saudi Abdullahi, one year old, Zainab Zakari, one year old, Sadia Abdullahi, five years, and Aisha Abdullahi, one year old, while an unidentified woman was burnt beyond recognition. Arwan added that two persons were injured during the attacks, while five other persons were still missing. The statement reads, the military under the auspices of Operation Safe Haven and the police have informed the Kaduna state government of counter-attacks on, on some header settlements in Kauru and Liri local government areas. According to the operational feedback from the security agencies, Aggrieved youth carried out the attacks following the killings of seven persons on Thursday night in Guragon, Zangon, Ataf, local governments. The security agencies reported the, that seven headers were killed in a counter killing in Uguan, Indi, and Kashiku villages of Kauru local governments, while two headers were injured at Nengin village of Liri local governments area. Five persons are still missing and troops are searching for them in the general area. Six hearts were born in the attack. Aisha Mohammed, 20 years, and Sadia Abdullahi, 25 years, who were wounded in the Kauru local government area reprisal attack, are receiving medical attention at a Ungua ED clinic. At Ningi village of Liri local government area, the two headers were injured and rushed to General Hospital. Saminaka, in the same local government, Binge Odi, 31 years, and Isa Juda, 7 years. See what is happening in Nigeria now. No developmental projects, no human capital projects, no, nothing is going on. It is this kind of news that we are hearing. We are not hearing that, a, oh, some people have manufactured this. Oh, this and this have, has, uh, has happened. Oh, this improvement. Oh, we have won one thing. We have won one award or the other. Oh, we have done this. We have done that. Ah, we have been able to build something that uh, the old world will be coming to look at as a, a form of uh, tourism. No, 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 no. This is what we are just every day. Every day. The economy is going down. Naira is depreciating. Things are expensive. Security is zero. What? No, what are we talking about? And just like I've said before, there is nothing in sight that we are hoping to see. Oh, there are things on pipeline. I don't know whether any of you remember. I don't know if, I, if I'm, uh, I'm lost here. They were announcing that they're going to create employment, this and that, by October or so. Now we are in December. I don't know what happened. They want to create 770 something, whatever jobs that a Kiyamu, Festus Kiyamu and the Senate or the lawmakers, they were going back and forth. Up to now, we didn't hear anything. And even at that, that uh, project is unreasonable because it's just going to last for three months, paying people 20, 20,000 naira after three months. What happens? Nothing. Everybody will go back to status quo. They just want to use that to mark register, to put it in their profile that they have done X, Y, Z. They created a job. Even that, they've not even been able to do that. I don't know whether they have started it. I can't even say. The Empower, mm -hmm. all the programs, they said, oh, yes, yeah, so they are taking care of uh, people who are, are from the poorest of the poor families. We are not hearing all of those things. The special uh, uh, program for whatever they, they created, SPI or so, when Aisha Buhari was complaining about nothing happened. How many billions? Now they've talked about it. Nothing happened. The NDDC, Wahala, we don't even know where it ended. This man, too, Mialami and Mangu, their case, we don't know where it is. 
nothing is just going on. But the rave of the moment now is the taking down of the people, fight here and there. The police cannot do anything. They, they are folding their hands. I'm sure it is the result of answers that is causing this one. Because some people will come and tell you that uh, Nigerian, Nigeria has been good for a very long time. Everything has been happening, has, has been fine. Not until when these people came, those who the politicians are supporting, they will tell you that uh, some people are behind the whole thing, that they are the ones sponsoring things, you know, the protests, they are the ones that sponsor the protests. As if uh, Nigeria is good for everybody to just be clapping. People don't feel, they don't know what they are talking about. A lot of cases have really come out. Because of this uh, panel they've, they've set up. And that was what brought about this uh, whole protest. But no, they turned it upside down. That they wanted to remove a Buhari. That it is a way of embarrassing Buhari. That is what happened. Any little thing that happened now concerning insecurity, they will tell you it's as a result of answers. That answers brought this whole thing. Before people started talking about answers, before the protest started coming up, so there was no uh, police brutality. So people would have just kept quiet. Now all of this is happening now. It's as a result of answers. The answers that came up was as a result of the failure on the part of the government. See what is happening. We are not even talking about good things. We are not talking about, yes, these are the things we are waiting for as a country. This is what Nigeria is planning. If they tell you they want to do anything, even if you put your mind there, before you know it, they will just come from nowhere and scatter the whole thing. You, your heart will just be broken. When you are thinking, oh, things are beginning to, okay, let us even watch this trend. Maybe they have brought a program. At the end of the day, hey, those who will tell you that, hey, forget all those programs they are bringing, that is just a scam. And some people say, oh, forget it. Oh, you guys, you are always uh, pessimistic. You are not really positive. Everything is negative, negative. But at the end of the day, those who always talk about the negative thing, because they have already watched and they have, they, have, they have taken time to watch the process at which things are going on in this country, they know that at the end of the day, everything will be scam, na na na, na, na scam. At the end of the day, you that you are open that, oh, you just open your mouth looking for, waiting for this set of people who do not have the interest of, of the country, not talk of the people at heart. You think you, they want to do any program that will favor you so that you will not be of the same level, so that they will not be able to use you as a, as their errand uh, boys and girls to perpetrate their evil. You want, because if you are comfortable, they will not, they will not have such, so much power they are having. If they are so comfortable. Nobody's going to be acting as thugs for them. No. So when they are bringing any program, you think it's for the good of, of the people. If the thing is good, they know that definitely they will not listen. Yeah, you will not listen to them. So no thing, no good program in place. Erufai is now, is now worried. He's sad. He's down. Oh, oh my goodness. What kind of reprisal? And police is now, the security people are now giving, giving updates. See what happens. See what happens. How many of them have they been arrested? Because if these people are being arrested, definitely, believe you me, this whole thing will not go on again. It won't go on again. They are now reporting. The governor is now done. It's a normal thing. It's a routine thing. No, um, how, how developed are their youth? We have a lot of youth across board. How developed are they, are they? They will not want to develop them because if you if they develop them, if they bring civilization if they bring awareness to them they will know that they will no longer be using these people again and these people will not be tools in their hands for their evil deeds and also you ask them to all of the things that you think you're acquiring you want to you want to be king you want to be this and that you don't even have peace of what you use how many things can you acquire because at the end of the day it's just a matter of supremacy you want to be in charge you want to continue to keep the people down that is just the whole essence of this whole thing if you look at it thoroughly, if you think about it deeply, it's all about that. So that people will continue to be down. It's, it's down. It's down. If any of his children is among all those people, you think he will just be down. He will just be worried. <coughs> Let them continue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, let us hear your opinion and let us know your thoughts on this.